and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that successful people know that learning is a lifelong journey and are always open to learning. The truth is, thinking you know everything hinders your growth and progress, as being closed off blocks us from learning valuable insights and knowledge. Successful people understand the value of learning and are always open to gaining knowledge from other people, books, and experiences. They go into the world seeking knowledge, hungry to learn, and humbly accept that there is always something new that they can learn daily, as learning is a lifelong process. The moment we stop learning and we think we know everything is the moment we stunt our growth and hinder evolving into the best version of ourselves. Accepting this fact that there is always more to learn and that growth happens only when we are open is a key factor of being successful in any area of your life, whether in your career, relationships, or your own personal development. As Confucius quotes, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, I want to talk about the new year and 2022. Most people are looking to tackle their goals, to get rid of limiting beliefs, right. and obviously to manifest new experiences into their lives. So, you know, what are the first steps that someone can do to manifest their desires into their life? You know, I don't think it's about, you know, people oftentimes come to my channel because they want a technique. They're looking for something that will work for it, something that they can do, something external, you know, the two cup technique, the 333 technique, the 555 technique, those kinds of things. But I think really, this is a great time of year to focus on your thought process. What am I thinking? What am I creating? What are my doubts and fears? and then begin to challenge those doubts, fears, and anxieties that you have about yourself, about your journey, about your life, about your relationships, about your business. Because if you hang on to those limiting beliefs, if you hang on to those doubts, all the techniques, all the New Year's resolutions in the world won't help you. You need to get down to core. And core is, how do I think? What are my beliefs? Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Law of Attraction coach Robert Zink, who mentors thousands of people all over the world on how to manifest their dreams and goals through his company, Law of Attraction Solutions. Robert, thank you so much for being on the show today. Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year to you too. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm very excited to have you on the show. I was telling you earlier that I discovered your videos on YouTube, so and I've been watching them for a number of years now, so I'm very excited to chat with you and your journey. <laughs> well, I feel very honored that you, you watch our videos on a regular basis. Absolutely, I love it. I'm a big fan of the law of attraction, but I wanna talk about you and how it all started. I know that you discovered spirituality at quite a young age. You mm -hmm. were 17 years old um, and you lost your mother to an untimely death. So. Let's talk about that experience and how it kind of shaped your spirituality and faith. Yeah. Well, you know, even prior to that, I, I, I oftentimes say that my first real mentor in life was my uncle Pete. And uh, he was a man who was paralyzed with MS and uh, was bedridden. And I took care of him. I brought him his food and things like that. But he was a very spiritual man. He prayed regularly. And I think I got a lot of, of that core connection with source energy from him. But then my mother died. Uh, she was uh, she was murdered when I was 17 years of age. And um, I'll never forget my grandmother coming running into the room, screaming that your mother is dead. And I can still remember the song that was playing on the radio. Now I won't, I won't tell you the name of the song, but uh, because I can't remember the title, but the lyrics fit exactly what was taking place at that moment in my life. 
And uh, so I think that changed me and it put me in a, in, in, it put me in a good direction ultimately, but initially it put me in a very bad direction because uh, it led to a life of, of drinking drugs and uh, hallucinogenics. I want to ask you, how did you get through that period? Because that is a devastating thing to happen to you. So what what made you kind of pull out of that period, that dark period and kind of see the light? Well, I mean, it wasn't easy. I I, I ventured down the, the path of of drugs and alcohol and 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 uh, and it, it really it really brought out the worst in me for many, many, many years. Uh, I think there were, in my early 30s, I, late 20s, early 30s, I had a breakdown. I finally just broke down. And for a number of years, a few years there, I couldn't work. Uh, and things were very, very bad. I, one of the doctors wanted to put me in an institution. He said, I've never seen anybody broken down this much. And then I started reading a good friend of mine, I love him, Dr. Wayne Dyer, and this book by Dr. Victor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning. And Wayne Dyer, his book, Pulling Your Own Strings, gave me my power back again. Mm -hmm. I realized that, that I had personal power, that I had the right to say no, that I had the right to find meaning in my life. And this book, Dr. Uh, Victor Frankl's book, a must read for anybody who is a co-creator or intentional manifester. Here's a guy that went through all kinds of trauma in his life going through the Holocaust, and yet he was able to find meaning to his life. So little by little, I started to find the meaning to my life. It didn't happen overnight. I wish it would have, but it didn't. But uh, I have pretty clear I have a pretty clear mission and purpose now in my life. And Robert, I know you met some mentors along the way that inspired you. So who were these people and how did they inspire you? Well, you know, as after my mother died, I went to broadcast school. Actually, I was in broadcast school uh, when my mother was still alive. And I met somebody there who introduced me to another person and uh, his name was, uh, we'll just call him Don, that was his name. And he became my closest friend for many, many years. He's passed away. And John, who was an older gentleman who had uh, served all over the world, had done religious or spiritual studies all over the world. And these two men, we used to meet uh, probably three, four nights a week after I got off the radio we would meet uh, at a restaurant and we would talk and study for hours and hours and hours on end. Yeah, and how did you discover the law of attraction? Because you've been teaching this for a long time. Yeah. So when I was, uh, I was teaching what is called the Hermetic Principles. And the Hermetic Principles, I was teaching it through a group called the Golden Dawn. I was the Imperator, still am the Imperator of the esoteric order of the Golden Dawn. And it's a group that studies ancient Kabbalah, Hermetic Principles, mystical Christianity. And they it's not a religious group, but it is a group of self-empowerment or personal empowerment. So when I first saw the, the secret, I'm going, well, this is nothing more than the ancient mysteries watered down, you know? And of course, I understand why they had to water it down, because if you study the ancient mysteries and the Kabbalah and all of that in depth, it would take you years and years and years to be able to apply it. But um, so I just said, you know, maybe what I need to do is take the message of the ancient mystery schools and solidify them, make them more understandable and give people easier ways of using them. And that's what we've done. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. A lot of the things that you teach on your YouTube channel um, are things that I've never heard before and are very interesting and they work, which is amazing. I want to talk about the new year and 2022. Most people are looking to tackle their goals, to get rid of limiting beliefs. 
right. and obviously to manifest new experiences into their lives. So, you know, what are the first steps that someone can do to manifest their desires into their life? You know, I don't think it's about, you know, people oftentimes come to my channel because they want a technique. They're looking for something that will work for it, something that they can do, something external, you know, the two cup technique, the 333 technique, the 555 technique, those kinds of things. But I think really, this is a great time of year to focus on your thought process. What am I thinking? What am I creating? What are my doubts and fears? And then begin to challenge those doubts, fears and anxieties that you have about yourself, about your journey, about your life, about your relationships, about your business. Because if you hang on to those limiting beliefs, if you hang on to those doubts, all the techniques, all the new year's resolutions in the world won't help you. You need to get down to core and core is how do I think? What are my beliefs? Yeah, I think that's great advice. And you talked earlier about personal power and you know, it all starts with the mind and changing our beliefs. And, and I like one of your videos, you said to say good things are happening to me, just that small yes. affirmation. And I think even just seeing a shift like that, you know, changes your day, right? Just saying right. something like a Absol small statement. Yeah. Like that. yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, our brains, for whatever reason, uh, I have my theories. Our brains are designed to think negatively. Most people don't know that. And I think that they're designed to think negatively because the environment that we grew up in as a, as a species was so, uh, so difficult and so challenging mm -hmm. and so dangerous. It was a good idea to think negative. You know, you don't want to go walk up and pet that saber tooth tired tiger just because he's cute, you know? <laughs> so you have those negative, we wake up in the morning and a lot of us wake up, most of us wake up with kind of a, uh, or some, some negativity, you know? And I think that this is a wonderful time to say good things are coming my way to start your day off. Those first 10 minutes when you wake up in the morning are the most powerful 10 minutes of the entire day. Maybe the 10 minutes before you fall asleep as well. But when you're just, don't get out of bed, don't jump out of bed to the alarm. You know, we have an alarm clock in our house. You think that there's bugs, it's a little cricket. <laughs> you know, and it gets a little bit louder. Pretty soon you realize, oh, that's the alarm clock. And then you can click it off Shut your eyes and say those powerful words. Good things are coming my way. Yeah, I think that's a powerful statement. And I start my morning every morning with affirmations. And the days that I don't do it, I I can feel it. I see this shift in my mood. And, you know, I, as you said, I think we are you know, automatically we, we, our minds are trained to kind of think negatively because I think we're on autopilot right. from watching yeah. the news and our experiences or the weather's bad and we think, oh, today sucks, right? Because it's autopilot. But when we make that shift and think, okay, good things are happening to me. You know, I'm a money magnet. I'm attracting abundance. All those affirmations, like you said, are what attract good things, right? <laughs> right. And well, then you start attracting it because that's the, the universe doesn't give us what we want. The universe gives us what we are. It's not about how much can I want something? It's about how much can I become something? So you're putting yourself in alignment with whatever it is you desire. Absolutely. And I did a last week in my intro, I talked about just that. <laughs> so it's also very fitting. Um, I want to talk about your Academy. I know you do the miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. So let's, let's talk about that and how you help people break their limited thinking. Right. Well, so usually people will either, uh, invest in one of our programs or, uh, one of our, uh, online web webinars, or they will engage in one-on-one -on -one mentoring. We have several very, very qualified, I call them world-class coaches 
that we work with, that I work with on a regular basis. Every Friday morning, we have a meeting. We go through different techniques of, of mentoring, different techniques of coaching. But ultimately, we've got to get down to those limiting beliefs, those blocks that stop you from being in the flow. Last night, we did a video, a friend of mine, and we were talking about being a manifesting beast, you know, being able to just think thoughts and have them come into manifestation, a manifesting beast. Doesn't that sound good? I love that. Yeah. I, I wish I could claim authorship to that title, but I, I didn't. <laughs> Somebody else came up with the idea. But anyway, I like it. So I'm using it. A manifesting beast. And what is a manifesting beast? A manifesting beast is someone who comes up with a desire, an idea. He sees it fits with his uh, mission and purpose in life. And then it just flows out. And th the resistance that most people face, he, a manifesting beast doesn't face those things mm -hmm. because they're in the flow. So that's what we, we, we work to do in personal coaching is get that person out of that negative mindset, that limiting belief, those doubts, those fears, those anxieties. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you know, I know a part of manifesting is having that faith, having that belief, but you know, sometimes it's hard to, even if we tell ourselves that we're gonna, we want to attract something and we do believe it on a, you know, we, we say we believe it, but maybe on a subconscious right. level, we don't feel like we deserve these things. How do we get rid of those beliefs? Yeah, well, we have what we call counter intentions. Mm -hmm. And what happens in, in coaching is those counter intentions, those subtleties will come out in, in language patterns. And uh, so I will look for people's language patterns, the kinds of words that they're using, the way they're describing their situation. And it'll become pretty obvious what their counter intentions are. So that's what we, that's what we go after because it doesn't make any difference how much you want something consciously. If your subconscious mind, which is 92% of your thinking process, if your subconscious mind says no, that's the answer. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Robert, what's one of the biggest things you've manifested or seen a client manifest into their lives? Cause I'm sure you've heard some extraordinary stories. <laughs> well, you know, uh, in my, in my journey, uh, I had built a pretty big uh, business, gone through a massive divorce, walked away from it, lost everything, opened up a business, had that fail as well. And uh, I was in a position where even, even after going through a lot of transformation, I had slipped back into old patterns of thinking. And at my worst place, I was living in a hotel room, paying week to week, mm -hmm. uh, barely surviving. That was, you know, 11 years ago. Uh, I'm in a almost a 4,500 square foot house now that we own. Beautiful pool in the backyard, palm trees all over the place. I've got two brand new cars. One of them is a race car. Wow. Um, we travel everywhere. I've got money flowing in. I feel healthier than I've ever felt. People tell me regularly, what are you doing? You look like you're getting younger. <laughs> you know? it, it's funny that you say that because I actually was telling my producer that I've been watching your videos for quite a long time. And I said that I feel like he looks younger than he did before. <laughs> That's so <laughs> funny that you said that. And I know that the law of attraction, they say that you could, you could, actually manifest looking younger so, you so can. i think you our, our can. audience wants to know about that <laughs> yeah because your subconscious mind and your brain control all the mechanisms that take place in your body mm -hmm. very interesting yeah and you know most people want to attract love and money into their lives that's one of the two top things that people want well i attracted a beautiful wife we have a beautiful son now you know yeah so Absolutely. So it's worked for you. So what are some affirmations or steps that someone can take to attract love into their life or money? What are some things that they can maybe incorporate in how they talk to themselves? Mm -hmm. 
So I, I like the idea of starting out your affirmation with I am, I am, because I am, it goes back to the ancient teachings of the Kabbalah. I am is the divine name of God uh, in that burning bush to Moses, you know, and Moses was looking at the burning bush and, and he says, well, what is your name? I am. Well, it esoterically means I will be what I will be. Think about it. And that's you. It, you know, uh, metaphorically, Moses was looking into a mirror, into the higher aspect of who he was as a human being. What is your name? What's, is my name Robert? Is your name Daryl? No. Those are names that were given to you or maybe you chose at some point. But that's not who you are. You are I am. I am. I am happy in love, in love, in a beautiful relationship, a beautiful committed relationship. I am healthy, vibrant, excited, motivated. I am wealthy. Money flows to me easily. And my favorite affirmation for money, money's too damn easy to make. Yes, I love that. <laughs> and I know that you also teach NLP and hypnosis. So how do you use these tools for people to attract abundance into their lives? Right. Well, we don't teach NLP. Uh, we don't, we teach uh, a variation of NLP. We call it neurolinguistic alchemy. Oh. And it's, it's very much like NLP except that there's a different presupposition. The presupposition is that there is a universal source energy that permeates the universe. And that, so that's the presupposition there. And we use that in our coaching quite a bit. Uh, we also, uh, we have a, a, a site called miraclehypnosisonline.com and miraclehypnosisonline.com is a site that has about close to 40 different powerful hypnotic programs that I have personally recorded. We have a studio here in the house and I record about one a month. We put it up on that site and people uh, are able to use those programs there. And they're on a variety of different topics and subjects, mostly surrounding the law of attraction. Robert, I would like to uh, join some of your programs because they're definitely working and um, I think you're doing great work by inspiring a lot of people out there. And you know, you seem like you're flourishing during this pandemic, but of course, there are some people out there that are going through some tough times, whether you know it's a death in their life or they lost their jobs or something like that. But right. what would you say to encourage them to persevere forward um, and see hope at the end of the tunnel? Because I mean, you know, this pandemic has been hard, right? Right. So my grandmother used to have a, a statement that she gave me many, many years ago when I was a young kid, when I was a young man going through troubles. And she would say, this too shall pass. Everything is going to pass. So think about it this way. You are going through a tough time because of the pandemic, but you can't focus on that because you lengthen that, that experience that you've attracted into your life. Oh yes, I said it. You've attracted into your life. We've all attracted this. So, Focus on the wish fulfilled, as Neville Goddard would say. What is the wish fulfilled? Focus on the life that you desire to live, to create for yourself, to, to give to others. Mm -hmm. You need to focus on that life, not where you're at. Because if, you, if, if, if Viktor Frankl would have focused on the, 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 the Nazi prison cell that he was in, he wouldn't be around. He wouldn't have lived. He wouldn't have survived. He had to focus on what he was doing with that experience and how he was going to use it to propel his life forward. Yeah, absolutely. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it totally makes sense. Because you know what? Time is passing regardless. So you might as well do something good with it, right? I mean, for me, yeah. the, the past two years has been the year that 
you know, everything has really manifested into my life. I bought a new house. Um, I My show has really taken off. I've made more money than I ever have. So I, I can attest to that, you know, just that's because I've focused on the positive, right? If, yeah. If time well, and, and, well, and, the, and the more you the more you uh, immerse yourself in, in gratitude for all the good things that have come into your life, the more the ball keeps rolling, so to speak. You know, the snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger because gratitude, it's impossible to think negative when you are immersed in gratitude. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, gratitude is the way because there's always something to be grateful for. Always. Until it's taken away from us, we don't realize. But, you know, it's better to be grateful before and really see there's so many great things, whether it's your family, having a beautiful day, you know, I, I right. agree with that. So where can our viewers connect with you on social media and, you know, join some of your programs right now? Well, we're on YouTube at Law of Attraction Solutions. Uh, we are on Instagram at Law of Attraction Solutions. Uh, we are on Facebook at Law of Attraction Solutions. And we also have a group called Law of Attraction Secrets on Facebook. So we're, we're pretty much all over the place. <laughs> Robert, thank you so much for being on the show today and being a beacon of light during these hard times. I absolutely love your content. I'm going to be continuing to watch them. So keep inspiring. And I hope to meet you one day in person. I would love to, I would love to meet you. You, you have so much you have so much brilliant energy. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And, and I, you know, a lot of that is because I've been following all the things you've been teaching. <laughs> so. I'll, I'll take credit for it. Sure. <laughs> yes, you take credit. <laughs> Happy New Year, Robert. And talk thank to you, you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.